monster returns. We're too late. Is just like me. We gotta get out of here now. I, I can't leave her behind. I've got to save her. What? Save the beast that's been trying to kill us? Yeah, that wasn't her fault. She was being used by the Dark Master. Now we can go. Spyro, some night, huh? Beautiful. What is it you want, Sparks? Huh. <laughs> Why do I have to want something? I'm just ready to begin the best day ever now that the evil psycho She-Dragon is gone. What? Cinder? What do you mean, Sparks? Whoa, calm down, big fella. Gosh, you're awfully tense. Hmm, haven't been sleeping much? You should listen to Voltaire tell one of his stories. That'll put anyone to sleep. Sparks, what happened? Okay, you ready? I got up to get some fresh air. Since I don't sleep much myself these days with uh, the female of fright hanging about, lo and behold, there she was, sneaking out into the garden. <sighs> she gives me the creeps, dude. You hear my teeth? Well, come on, we have to find her. It's dangerous for her to be outside the temple at night. It's dangerous for any of us to be outside at night. Besides, Ignitus said you have to wait till your powers return. Because you're weak. But no time to argue. Come on. Uh, <clears throat> you'd be helpless without me. <clears throat> I'd better come with you. Mustn't wake them. What? I can't hear you over all this snoring. Uh, 
Yes, of course, I'm honest, Miss Pedro. In the truth, I'm <laughs> What was that? Cinder, what are you doing out here? It's dangerous. You shouldn't have followed me, Spyro. That's good enough for me. Let's go. See ya. <laughs> Please, don't make this harder for me than it already is. I'm just trying to understand. I'm leaving, Spyro. I don't belong here. After all I've done, all I've put you through, I can't stay. Cinder, nobody blames you for what happened. Huh, I do. Speak for yourself. Sparks. No. Sparks is right, and every day that goes by, I'm reminded of it. Spyro, your place is here. Your destiny is here. But mine is somewhere out there for me to find. Cinder, I don't want you to go. Goodbye, Spyro. Now, can we finally get some sleep around here? I've been only sort of half-sleeping with one eye open for weeks now. Alternating eyes, of course. It lessens the strain, but I tell you, it's taken a toll. Hey, was this Twitch always there? Spyro, you okay, buddy? Hey, I want to sleep too, but I didn't mean now. Well, let's at least get inside. It's, it's dark out, man, and I don't like it. Hello? Anyone home? Yoo-hoo! Hello? Is anyone there? Do not be frightened, young dragon. You are not alone. Who are you? What is this place? I have summoned you here so that you might be warned. The celestial moons are counting down, and time is running out. How did that happen? The purple dragon can wield many abilities that others cannot, including time itself. Learn to master this ability, and you will be able to see things almost before they happen. But use this gift sparingly, only when circumstances demand. 
Manipulation of time is not to be done without the utmost care. to have abandoned your true calling. It is your destiny to harness the powers of the elements. Yet, you possess not. I haven't been able to use my abilities for some time now. Yes. Right now, your powers lay dormant within you. Let's see if we might not awaken them. Clear your mind. Feel the fire that flows through your veins. Allow its heat to consume you, and breathe with it. Now rise up, and release the firestorm within you. Excellent, Spyro. You're a natural. But now that a primal fire rages inside you, show me you have command of it.
You have done well. And now, it is time for you to return. But be careful, Sparrow. The enemy approaches. Wait! You still haven't told me who you are. You shall know me as the Chronicler. Seek me out. 